Farmers, what's going on? Welcome back to another Haiti video. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the machines management, or more precisely, how I manage my machines in Haiti. Now, this is a very important topic considering that machines play a very important role in the game. About 70% of the portion of this game is actually dependent on your machines. So let's get started by the gameplay. The first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to check the visitors as usual. So we have Greg asking for onions with a very low price, and I'm definitely going to say no, plus I don't have any, and nope, no indigos for that price. So I have a boat ready, and we have the Cafe Lette, so I'm just going to start filling this. These are eight, and I've also got eight, so. And Blackberry Jam, that's rare, but I need more lemons, so let's see if I have any lemons. All right, we do have a couple of, oh wait, can I expand my farm? But I'm not going to do that right now. I might. I'm, I think I'm going to need more permits. So there we go with the lemons. That's a lot of lemons, you guys. So I'm just going to ask for help on the... Let's ask... Oh, wait. Well, nobody's online. So I think I'm just going to... Uh, yeah, I need more. I need four more lemons. So let's just get the lemons from here. I don't really have a lot of trees. Almost all my trees are literally dead. So there we go. Just going to fill that. And so... Well, oh, so somebody requested three um, X's. I'm just going to donate them because I have a lot. So there we go. And uh, let's harvest our crop. So today I've got some sugar canes and soybeans. Yep, there we go. Just got a TNT, which is cool. And my silo is full. So I'm going to need more things. Um, Let's go with wheat. So let's just plant the wheat for a while. All right, there we go with the wheat. So... That's it. Just going to harvest again, and I'm just going to plant all the wheat. So let me just see what I have extra in my silo. So I have a lot of rice. I have a lot of soybeans that I don't really need, but I think I'll be able to make soy sauce with the help of that. So, um, well, I'm really not in the mood of selling anything because like, like, I really don't know what I should sell. I tend to keep it about 1 50th every crop, and my silo is pretty low as compared to other people. So, I um, might still need screws. Anyway, let's just collect my honeycombs from here. Alright, that's it. And we're just going to collect our peanuts from our peanut... Oh, squirrels, I mean. Alright, guys, so I think that's it for my little gameplay. And now I'm going to come to the main point of this video, the machine management. Now, for me, machines are one of the uh, favorite things in the game. I totally love machines. And ever since I was a low level player in the game, machines have always been my, I think my most favorite part is the town and the machines in the game. So I really love to purchase the machines. I love to get them. I love to run them. I love to fully master them. So it's my favorite part of the machine. Now, what you should be doing in the game, the first thing that I always say is that open the slots of your machines. Start from the machines that are important, like dairy, sugar mill, sauce maker, and, um, you know, other important machines like ice cream maker maybe, and then gradually go towards the machines that are not that important, like um, I can say the actual hat maker is not that important, um, the fondue pot is not that important, so stuff like that. And always keep your machines running, never leave them empty. It's such a good tip to make coins. Um, I make sure that my mach machines are always running when I'm playing regularly, but of course I'm not playing regularly nowadays. So that's why most of the time my machines are stopped, but otherwise my machines never stop. They're working 24 seven, even though I don't need anything. I make sure that my machines never stop because I can uh, make those products and I can sell them. So I'm just gonna get started by all the machines one by one. I'm gonna go through all the products. I'm gonna show you guys how much products I tend to keep in my barn and how much products are important to have in your barn because every product is of course different so you should have different quantities of each product so let's get started i'm going to go in the order in the sequence of my machines that are laid down at my farm um, so basically machines you have to manage according to the time now for example there's a tip here which i want to tell you guys that do not overrun your machines or do not overflow them overload them with the, with the, with the products for example, right now, you guys can see I had a boat. So, like, when I'm playing regularly, what I do, the first thing that I do, I play town. 
and then I do my bolt, and then I do trucks that I have to do. And after that, I come back to my machines, I collect the products that I had made last night, and then I will make more products because I need. Because the thing is, if you do not play the town, and if you make the products first, then you do not know which products are you missing, or which products are you gonna need. So, for example, I have just filled the bolt, and now I'm gonna have to see what my next order is going to be. So as you guys can see, it's, um, well, it's a pretty simple boat, so I'm gonna need Shepherd's Pie. Now, let's say if I didn't see this and if I just overload my machines previously, um, and let's say if I, I put a lot of the apple pies, and but I actually need the Shepherd's Pie. So that's a nightmare. So make sure you do this, um, do according to your time. Also, when you're going out, when you're going to school, when you're sleeping, let's say for eight hours, then make the products that get ready in eight hours. Because uh, when I used to go to school, my school used to start at 8 a.m. and I used to end at 1 p.m. So that's approximately five hours. So I used to make products in the morning that take approximately five to six hours. In this way, when I come back home, I can start making the products again and I can start collecting everything that's ready when I come back. So that's what I just wanted to show you guys. This is like, I think this tip really works for me and I always follow this tip. I run my machines according to the time, but of course if I if I have all the products in large quantities and if I don't really need this, then I can make all the things just for the coins, that's not my important thing. But other than that, I always run my machines according to the time. So I'm going to get started. Now what I do, I tend to keep about 10 of every product in my barn. I did a video on machines management, I think two years ago, that was back in 2018. And at that time, I used to keep about only six of each product in my barn. But that also depends on your barn. For example, my barn is um, pretty low. Well, I won't say it's pretty low, but it's still normal. It's 5,350. And I tend to keep about 10 normal amount of products. And the products that I have over 10, I sell them to me coins. Like I can sell the chili poppers, I can sell the tofu stir fry, I can sell the chili popcorn, I can sell the black sesame smoothie, the juice, so stuff like that. So let's just start running our machines. Well, I'm gonna need a lot of eggs. So let's see if I can find any eggs in the papers. I'm just gonna go to the paper to see if I have any eggs. Oh my gosh, there are no eggs. I don't really know what to do. Let's just collect my eggs from here. My chickens are dying. Um, I'm just gonna have to feed them. Oh wait, I don't have any chicken feed. Wow, that's crazy. I can't believe I don't really have any chicken feed. Oh my size is full. What's going on? Literally, I'm stuck. Like, I don't have any eggs. I don't even have any chicken feed. And then I, I don't have enough wheat. This is literally so crazy, you guys. It's honestly one of the most frustrating moments in Haiti. It's truly annoying. All right, so we're gonna come back to the machine. Um, for the actual cornbread, I tend to like keep more than 10 because this product get, um, I'm gonna need in literally every other machine. So I tend to keep more of those. But the other products I tend to keep in 10 amount. For the pizzas, I tend to keep about six because they're so rare and I need cheese all the time. So coming to the sugar mill, normally I will keep about 40 to 50 or maybe 60 of the sugars, but sugars are very important. So it doesn't matter if you have a lot of them, you're always gonna need them. So what I do, I'm just gonna make a lot of syrups. Oh my God, I have over like 100 syrup. I'm just gonna sell them to me coins. Uh, for the popcorns, again, tend to keep about 10 of every pro um, popcorn. And if I don't need anything, I will just put the actual simple popcorn. Pies, I tend to keep about 10. As you guys can see, I have a pretty good amount of every pie. So if this happens, then I'm gonna be making more of the carrot pies because normally I make them to um, you know, earn coins in the game. Sauce Maker is a pretty interesting machine. Uh, you're gonna need a lot of things, like I'm currently lacking eggs, which I don't have. And let's put two tomato sauce. So what I tend to do, I keep about um, 40 or 30 to 40 at least of my soy sauce and the olive oil, which unfortunately I don't really have a lot right now, but normally I will keep about 30 because it's so important. And the other products I will keep in amount of 10, but even if I have 10 of every product of this machine, I still keep this machine running 24-7 because this is one of the most important machines in the game. Same goes with the cakes. I tend to keep about 10 of every cake in my barn. So let's make three chocolate cakes. And while I need to, well, I don't, you guys, I really need eggs and I don't really have any. So I'm just going to collect a bunch of cherries from here. All right, that's it. There we go. And so that was for the cakes. I tend to keep about six. Now from my loom, I also make um, keep 10 of every product. Now keep the products in a good amount that are really important. For example, that they are asked a lot in the boats, 
in the town, like sweaters, pies, barbecue grill products. These products are really common. These products are like the basics of the game. But the products like the fondue pot, the, you know, the deep fryer, these, um, even if you have in five amounts, that's pretty okay, I guess. But I do tend to make a lot of cotton fabric, so I'm just going to make these. Coming to our salad bar, I'm just going to collect all the products that I've been making. I need lemons and I need the fresh pasta. So from the pasta maker, this machine is also pretty important, as you guys know. I don't, I tend to keep about 30 of each pasta in my barn and that's it. So we're going to come to the barbecue grill. Again, I tend to keep about 10 of every product. So I'm just going to make what I'm missing. Um... All right, there we go. Just going to put three fish skewer, two banana pancakes, and there we go. That's it. And I have a lot of slots open, which really helped me a lot because if I'm not playing the game, let's say for two days or maybe three days, and then I can overload my machines and then come back into the game, I have all the products ready to be collected. And this way I can make a lot of XP and I can also make a lot of coins by selling the products. So opening the slots is a very good tip. So make sure you guys also open the slots of your machines. Again, for the juices, I tend to keep about 10 or over 10. It doesn't really matter. And normally, I will just make a lot of the carrot juice. Now, why I'm overloading my machines right now? Because I know that I won't be able to play my game for at least 15 to 16 hours. So that's why I'm making a lot of products. For the jewelry, I tend to keep about only six. I don't make, um, like, I don't keep 10. The jewelry is not asked in the boats. They're only asked in the town. And for the truck lotter, so I think keeping five or six is really okay. So I'm just going to put one bracelet. The toasts, again, I tend to keep about three. They're pretty hard to make. Sometimes, as you guys can see, I only really have a lot of ingredients I'm missing. Oh my gosh, I only got two onion melts, and I don't have any onions. So for my soup kitchen, I also tend to keep about 10 of every soup, which, um, well, I'm lacking a lot of products. Um, the ingredients, I don't have any, but I think I'm just going to make a lot of bell paper soup. So that's it. And normally, I will just keep making the broccoli soup because it's pretty simple to make. Ice cream, I also tend to keep about 10. The thing is, this machine is really hard to manage, so even if I have like five or six of them, that's okay. It's really hard to keep ten of every product. There's like five, and there's like nine ice creams in the game, and there are total nine slots. So even if you make like one of them, that's going to take a long time. So for the jams, I tend to keep about six of every jam. You cannot really easily manage this machine if you're a high-level player. So having a baby farm is really helpful because these the first page jams, the raspberry jam, the apple jam, these are low-level products. So, for example, if you make a baby farm and if you purchase a jam maker there, you can make the jams, these jams there on your baby farm and the other jams you can keep on your main farm. That's what I do. I have a lot of farms and I keep making raspberry jam and blackberry jam on my other farms. So for the coffee, oh well, I need milk. I keep about 10 of every coffee too. So we're just going to be making a lot of cafe latte. I just filled up my boat, so I need more of that. So, well, I'm missing so many ingredients right now, guys. Don't get mad at me because I just don't know what's going on, actually. So from the flower shop, again, I tend to keep about 10. So I'm going to put these and we're just going to make uh, these are the brushes, but cakes. But unfortunately, I don't have any cotton fabrics left. So for my candy machine, again, I tend to keep about 10 of every product from there. Just going to collect my honey. And from the honey and the beeswax, I, now this machine is also very hard to manage normally. So if you have a baby farm, that's okay. Make sure you make any of these products, any two of these products on one of your baby farms. That's what I do. I make um, honey on my main farm and beeswax on my baby farm. So that's really helpful too. Because if you don't have a baby farm, that could be a little bit hard to manage. So I'm going to make oh, one of the toffee because I need that. And now these three products, um, I don't make them because they are, they take a lot of the time. So like if I'm regularly playing, if I normally playing, I never make them. I hire Tom to get them because that's really impractical. That's just, that doesn't make any sense to make the product that takes like 20 hours. Like honestly, 20 hours for one chocolate and 24 hours for like one jelly bean. That's insane. Oh my gosh, I have zero, zero smoothies. So I'm just going to make two, um, these. And let's see, I need cacao. So normally I tend to keep about 10 of every product in my barn of all the machines. So I'm just going to make a lot of these. All right, there we go. For the tofu, you guys can see I have a lot of these products because they're really simple to make. And also I'm trying to master my whole kitchen. So that does really help. So I'm just not going to run my machine. Or maybe I can, but I don't have any onions right now. From my pasta kitchen, this machine is pretty hard to make because you're going to need a lot of cream and butter. I tend to keep about 10 of every pasta in my, oh my god, zero spicy pasta in my barn. 
For the teas, I also tend to keep about 10 of every tea in my barn. So, okay, for the Farm Pot products, again, I tend to keep about 10. This machine is pretty hard to make. Um, the things are pretty hard to make because you're going to need chocolate, you're going to need bacon, you're going to need cheese and potato bread, which are really hard to get. For my deep fryer, again, I tend to keep about 10 of every product. Now, this machine is also a little hard to make uh, the product because you're going to need bacon, you're going to need cheese, a lot of bacon. So, of course, bacon are not easy to get. So, for my taco kitchen, I tend to keep about 10 of every taco. For my hot dog stand, again, I tend to keep about 10 of every um, hot dog in my barn. But the thing is, it also needs bacon, which is so hard, and I really don't know what to do. So coming back to the most important machine, the dairy. This machine should never stop working. And if I saw this machine is not working on your farm, I'm going to find you. I'm going to come to you, and then I'm going to hug you. That's all I can do. All right, just kidding. So, yeah, just make sure you keep running this machine all the time. So you guys can see I don't have really a lot of product. So even if I don't have milk, the goat, goat milk is really simple to get. So I can make a lot of the goat cheese. So I think that's it. That's pretty simple. Like, this is my most favorite part of the Haiti, to collect the products and to make them. And I really enjoy this. Oh, I just missed one machine, but that's candy the, the candle maker. I tend to give you about 10 of, 10 of every candle in my barn. So that's it, I guess. Um, in this video, I just wanted to show you guys how I manage my machines. There are some tips that you have to remember. And those are make sure you open the slots of your machines. Manage your machines according to time. Do not overload them unless you're going out for a while. Let's say for two days, three days if you're on a vacation. And keep making your machines. Um, keep running the machines all the time. Even if you don't need any product, still make that so that you can sell them to make coins. It's a good way to get profit and money. And that was it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel for more Haiti videos I'll be posting. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.